this thing right here. People, you can take this and stick the roots in a fish tank and it will grow. It's actually pretty cool because then it will grow the roots down and it will grow up over top of it. You can actually split this up and you probably put this in like five probably. Maybe even more, cause it's, but you can take one of these, split it off if you repot it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is uh, when the two, today Tuesday or Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday, Tuesday. I'm not sure what day it is. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday, guys. And today I have no idea what to do, but it is cold outside. Colder outside. It's like 45 degrees. At least it was this morning. It's probably warmer now, but when I got this morning, it was super cold. For how, how it has been, it was like 75, 70 degrees for like a week there almost in the middle of, in the middle of December, well, in the beginning of November, which is weird for us. Anyways, guys, let's get to this story. I guess I'll cut back if you miss. Alright, okay, guys, before I get to this day story, I will tell you guys where that comes from. And Glubo, Rachel, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Alright, oh. guys, I'm back and it is colder than it was. It went from like 70 plus a couple days ago to now it's like 45 50 somewhere around i'm not exactly sure i think it's like 50 right now it was like 40 it was like 34 this morning what are you guys doing kitty cats come here want to go for a ride want to go, 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 go get it get it get it get it get it you guys are gonna call the tree then no come here dummies come here come here come here you guys are nuts these cats love it up here though I tell you guys, we're going to keep these three kittens and the mom. If we can get them all fixed before mom gets pregnant again or these cats get pregnant. Because there's two girls and one boy and there's no openings for girl cats. Unless we want to pay a bunch of money for it, which we're not going to. I told you about this, right? We found a place that is a high spay neuter clinic, which will do cats super cheap and dogs too. They'll do dogs based. Well, actually, they do based on weight, the dogs. But the cats, they'll do, it's like, what was it? Like 55 minus the... If you have to get, and you have to have a rabies shot too to get them to get fixed, and you have to pay ten dollars for a rabies shot, don't do that too. But that's it. That's all they do is, is one. Sh I think they do rabies and other shots, and then that's about it. Right, kitty cat, kitty goat, kitty 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 cat, kitty 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 cat. Real. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, but we can't get them fixed till probably January because they're booked up till January because they got all the. All the boy, we can get all the boy cats fixed around here, but no girl cats can't. Which, even if we got all the boy cats fixed, the girl cats probably take off to go find someone. Because by January, they'd probably be able to have babies because they're like four months old now. Because he's born January, January, he's born July 1st. So, do the math, it's like four months now. And I think six months is when they'll have their first thing when they have babies. So, yeah, we got two of these babies cats. Uh. <coughs> uh, anyways, guys, it's not, I mean. It's not super cold, but it's a lot colder than it was, and now it's, like, freaky. Oh, did I tell you about our car? We have nothing but bad luck, guys. We got our car fixed after, like, three months in the in the shop. It runs good. We bring it home, and two days later, our star breaks. Like, come on. What is happening with our luck right now? Literally, we had our our van back for, what, two, three days, and now the starter's bad. And it might also be the flywheel, because it sounds pretty bad. Ugh. If it's a flywheel, it's going to be a all-day job's gonna take forever but they're gonna try to fix it friday take off the they couldn't do no now because they're all booked up because he has jobs and stuff and yeah kitty 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 Meow. where'd you go kitty Remember you? hey don't climb come here come here come here fuzzy wuzzy come here come here fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy come here come here fuzzy wuzzy come here fuzzy yeah come here fuzzy wuzzy everyone wants to see you fuzzy cat oh almost fell on my face fuzzy here hey here, here here stop freaking out here get on the table Wah! You're allowed on this table, not inside. You hear me? You <laughs> get your head stuck in the hole. Look, come here. Look, there's a hole in the floor. Whoa. Come here. Look, there's a hole in the floor. You can't even see it. <laughs> They're nuts. You're going to get fixed probably after the 15th. And probably you and this black cat are running around here. And maybe the other cat. Well, I don't know if we do the other cat or not. Because that one boy cat, he has seizure all the time. And he probably wouldn't make it through the surgery. I wouldn't trust it. We don't want to kill the cat, you know? But we could get you know, that big orange cat that's running around here. Uh, I think it's someone's cat. I think it's a neighbor's cat. But it's a big old bullet. It needs fixed too. But I don't know. It'd probably get mad if we fix it, right? But we need to get this cat off now because we don't want to go over and over cat. I told you guys a story before. When I was a kid, well, actually before that, when my grandma was, well, my grandma was alive and I was a kid. She didn't die until I was like 17. Or, well, let's just say pass away, my grandma. But we'll be more respectful. But uh, she used to live in this house, obviously, my, my dad's house. Well, my dad's used to live here when he was a kid. And also, my great-grandma lived over there in the house across the road, which I've showed on video a couple times. But yeah, my grandma lived in this house for a long time until she had to be taken care of by my dad's brother. But anyways, uh, 
she was a very cat she was a very she liked cats basically and everybody draw cats like they do us right but again my family's never had hardly any money so it's hard to get cats fixed especially back in those days it's probably even worse because there's probably nowhere because back then there's like nothing around here like the only place that had anything was like morgantown that was like hardly anything there too so I probably wasn't even no vets around i would even do it they had like vets for like cows and stuff but that was probably about it and that was pretty sparsely in between there's like nothing around here when they was like younger but they had like a huge cat population uh at one point probably had close to 75 maybe 100 cats running around this place uh and it was bad but uh when i was a kid i was like 10, 10 between 10 and 12 years old somewhere around there we came up here one day apparently someone the neighbor's dog up the road or some dog got loose it was like a pack of dogs which is weird to think about a pack of dogs they was like i forget what they was i think it was i don't want to say pit bulls they might i think it was doberman big doberman got loose from somewhere they kept and they killed like 40 cats in one day and at that point most of the cats were they killed most of the cats off and what the cats had left over died from disease because we had a bad disease problem around here they had a really bad like most of the cats were getting diseases and then and then every winter like two or three cats died anyways because we have rough runners and they never come inside because it's wild so yeah that, that that cut down which is not the best way to do that the best way to get rid of a cat problem is to catch all the cats you can fix and neuter them and release them back to where they was because if you take them to a, a pound especially if they're wild they'll just kill them like especially in our state our state's really bad about killing cats like that's yeah it, our state is really really bad about it which is sad but ugh, no one wants them it's probably better than having a wild cat and then getting out and getting sick right and getting more cats and having even more issues cats will go cats reproduce like crazy i think it's like every eight weeks they can have babies especially if it was about i think it's like if it's about 65 degrees every eight weeks they can have babies that's why there's so many cat herds out in like this where it's warmer like in the in california and down south they have big cat herds but the best way to do that is just try as many cats as you can Take them to a vet, which is harder. It was easier said than done, especially when they want to charge like six hundred dollars a vet. A vet, but yeah, uh, our at the place we're going, we're taking to, which is a high spay neuter clinic. They say if you have more than fifty cats, they will uh, actually even charge you less or even bigger discount, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's at least this was on their website. But yeah, even fifty five bucks for a male cat, sixty five dollars for a female cat is way way less than five hundred dollars for a male cat and six hundred dollars for a female cat at a vet, which is insane to think about. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys. Oh, I've been on a Doctor Who binge. I've always, I'm, almost watched season one, which is the new Who. Because I know there's way more Doctor Who besides that. But, yeah, I can't remember what Doctor is. Is either the ninth Doctor or the 10th Doctor? I can't remember which one they start off with. Oh, my God. This thing is ridiculous. Anyway, guys. I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. So, bye. Hi, guys. I'm back. Uh, I have no idea what to say. Don't really know what to say. I just got to get better early tonight. What was that? I just heard something. What was that? Oh, it's a kitty cat kitty cats everywhere oh well, you're being cranky to your babies why are you being so cranky cr cranky to your babies huh you're being so cranky pants just because you're pregnant she says shush prego mama mama chance we get you we're getting you fixed so you don't get no more babies you and your all your babies this is what yes I'm getting you all fixed yeah Getting ready to have babies. Look how pre I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. Like, look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she has a big old stomach on her. Like she did before. Bloop. Prego kitty. Can I touch your belly? Yeah, you got baby bellies. She said, what? Uh. Oh, here comes another kitty. What? What, you jealous? <laughs> what is this? Are you too jealous? What is this, huh? What, what is going on here? Are you jealous? Get to pet your mama, not you. Uh, cats are crazy. And there's another kitty cat in here. We got run over by cats. Whoa. Uh, I can't remember. I looked at this one time. After a cat first litter, does not the litters get bigger or do they get smaller? More likely to get... There's there's actually a thing where it's like more likely to get bigger. I can't remember. I think it's more likely to be bigger the second time. And then after that, I think it goes... Or maybe like... There's like a number... <laughs> She's beating you up, mama. She's beating you... Why are you beating up your son? Hey, mama. Why are you beating him up for? Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is time to fly the coop. You ready to fly the coop, mama? She says you gotta go get your own life. Hey. You ready to go talk to him, mama? Oh. By the way, guys. I've been watching Doctor Who all day. Woohoo! And I did not know, like, some of the Doctor Who stuff. I didn't watch... I thought I watched most of these of the 10th Doctor, I think. I think it's the 10th Doctor. 
And apparently, no, I haven't seen a lot of them. I thought I've seen them all, but apparently not. Maybe it's just the 11th Doctor I've seen a lot of. Maybe. I don't know. Who even knows what the name of the Doctors are anymore because it's all messed up anymore. The lore got ridiculous in season 13 or whatever you want to call it. Right, kitty cat? He said, what? She said, what? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like, I've never seen the freaking, uh, <laughs> the one... Oh my gosh, there's so many things. I've never seen the one where the guy turns into a werewolf and the Queen of England becomes a werewolf, which is kind of funny. Uh, well, she doesn't become one, but she gets like the gene. And then, yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, that was a good one. The si the Cybermen in another dimension. That's a weird one. Don't remember that happening. I've never seen that one before. Actually, I haven't seen hardly any of these. Or the Gas Mask Children. That was a weird one. I think that was... Was it not Doctor? Was it, that was a 10th. That might have been the ninth Doctor. I've never seen any of the ninth. I can't remember. <laughs> ninth Doctor. Yeah. Pretty sure it's the ninth Doctor. Right, Kitty Cat? They don't even care, huh? He says, yeah, I don't care. Boo, 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 boo. I thought I'd seen most of these, but apparently not. Sorry about that, guys. My phone went off and there's something on here. I'll see what's out here. I don't see anything. Oh, update, guys. This thing is absolutely amazing. I had to lit off because it was pretty... You just put it with water. Got two. You can put four in here, but just two is recommended, I guess. And you put the lid on, and bam, bam, boom, it's done. Woo! And then about two hours, it's all filtered through. <laughs> Seriously, about two hours. And right now, there's no water in the bottom at all. Nope, no water at all. Oh, there's a little bit actually. Thought it was empty, but apparently it's been filtering faster than I thought. It takes forever to filter, but once it filters through that, it's absolutely amazing. Apparently, it takes out 99.9999999 percent of, of stuff out of water. But yeah, it's really good at filtering out like metals and stuff. And you can filter rainwater and all that stuff and drink. You can literally drink rainwater out of that thing. A lot of people do it. Uh, <laughs> you can drink rainwater. Hey, mama, stop being so mean to your babies. Cranky pants. And you, stop bugging mama. Why are you so mean to your babies now? You used to be so lovable with it. Now all of a sudden, you're mean. So it's time for you guys to go get your own life. I think it's because she's pregnant. She's ready to have babies, huh? Is that it? Is that why? You're getting ready to have babies? Huh? Ugh, January. Sometimes January we're going to get these cats fixed if they wait that long. Because the place we go to is all booked up till January. They book them by two months in advance. And they're all booked up on females. Because everyone wants to get milk. No one cares about the male cats. Always, all oh, the females need fixed. You got to get fixed the males too because one, they won't be spraying ever. And two, you don't have any males and you really cut down the population. But mostly females. The females can't have babies because, you know, that's the thing. But even if a male, females will probably run off. I don't know. Do cats... Cats probably would run off, right? There's no males around that would could get them, you know? They'd take off, wouldn't they? Pretty sure they would. Who knows? What are you guys doing? Stop beating up everything. <laughs> they killed my tree, by the way. This this was a nice cherry tree. But on the other side, they absolutely murdered. They even dug out the roots. Stop it. They even dug out the roots in it. Stop 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 it. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I found something cool about this plant. This is called a peace lily. I've been watching a lot of fish tank videos about how to make... Whoa, what happened here? Why that leaf die? Uh, this plant right here, I found something cool about it. It's called a peace lily. Uh, this one's massive. Most people don't make them this big. They split them apart and they put them in different things. But this one, especially to my mom because she got it at my, her mom's funeral. And I've been taking, well, we've been taking care of her for, gee whiz, 10 years now. This thing will live forever, basically. Uh, I found something cool about this. I've been watching a lot of fish tank videos because I'm used to being a fish. We used to have a f aquarium. It used to be right here. We all had like a 20 gallon. I don't think that doesn't even hold a 20 gallon anymore. But we had a 20 gallon fish tank right there forever. Until I was like 12. We had it since I was a baby until like 12. We had we had a bunch of goldfish in it, which, yeah, probably not the best thing for goldfish. We'd like, I think one point we had like eight goldfish in it. We had a common pleco, which I call an algae eater. Everyone calls it an algae eater. I didn't realize what it's called. I've been doing more, way more research on it. But uh, yeah, and then I got another fish tank when I was later on. I had fish again. And I don't know what happened, but uh, we, we had fish for like ever. Uh, and then, uh, when I was, like, 12-ish, I forget what happened. All the fish died for no reason. And we got more fish to put back in the tank. It was some kind of disease. We had no idea what it was. And we, we didn't really, we wasn't, like, super experts to keep it fish or anything at the time. And we put more fish back in, and they just kept dying over and over. They'd last, like, a month and die. So I don't know what it was. It was some kind of illness. Killed everything in there. And then my favorite fish died was my algae, my pleco. I had this giant pleco. It wasn't giant, but it was a pretty, it probably about six, seven inches. And it was way too small for a 20-gallon fish tank. And the goldfish was way over populated in there, too. But, uh, yeah, we had a thing for goldfish, which I still do. But now I realize you need a way bigger tank for goldfish. You're actually supposed to have, like, 20 gallons per goldfish. So, like, 
you had like a 50 gallon tank, you might be able to get three goldfish in that. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if you want to get goldfish, you probably get like a 80 gallon tank. Also, anyways, back to this plant, which I found out cool. Uh, oh, and then later on, I, got, I tried fish again. And they had them for like a year, and then they just all died because I was like a teenager. I didn't really care about it. I wanted fish, but I wasn't taking camera, and I had no idea what I was doing. And they all died. But, anyways, and I had a beta fish too, and I tortured that thing. I had like a little a beta fish in like a little tiny container. It's probably like a quarter gallon. Maybe not. It may have been a half gallon tank. It's like a little plastic tank that was like this tall and like here to here. So it was like maybe a half gallon for one. And you really need five gallon for a beta fish minimum, which beta fish are really treated really badly. It's goldfish, beta fish, and probably glowfish. Those are like the three most mistreated fish ever. But uh, anyway, <laughs> goldfish, you really need like a pond for goldfish in all honesty. But uh, anyways, not, not worried about that. And beta fish, you really need like a five gallon planted tank because they really love plants. They really love natural plants. Anyways, okay, back to this. I've been watching a lot of people how to set up fish tanks and stuff over the last couple years. I've been into it for a while. I want to get fish, but we have nowhere to put it. I want to get, like, a 20-gallon and get, like, I want to get a beta fish just to make up for the one that I killed by accident when I was, like, when I was a teenager. And yeah, I killed by accident because I did a water change, and I forgot to declutter the water, stuck it in there, and then I, and then I was like, oh, crap, I did it, and I put it back out, and I put it in water, and I forgot to clean it. That was a whole mess. That thing suffered and I felt sorry for it. But, uh, we had goldfish at the time, too. We had another tank, like a tank on tank for, like, goldfish. But I overstocked that thing tremendously. But, uh, anyways, uh, this, this thing right here. People, you can take this and stick the roots in a fish tank and it will grow. It's actually pretty cool because then it will grow the roots down and it will grow up over top of it. You can actually split this up and you probably put this in, like, five probably. Maybe even more because it's, but you can take one of these, split it off if you repot it. And put one in a fish tank just to root, knock off the dirt, put it... Oh, also, same with these plants, too. If I can find one. These viney plants, these are good for goldfish, apparently. Because goldfish are known to tear up everything you put in your tank. Apparently, these are good for that, too. You take these roots off. You can actually take, like, cutting. Just, like, cut this here. Boom. Stick in a fish, you'll grow roots. And the roots will grow down. But the goldfish don't really bother them too much. But also, yeah. Actually, whenever we had a fish tank, the second time, when I started back when I was, like, 14 ish and i did it by myself and no one helped me because my parents didn't really want to do it and i wanted to do it i always like fish uh fish tanks they're pretty cool to look at and they relax you a lot it's, at least i think so uh we had a, a plant it well i want to say we we had those plants i stuck the roots in it like or a piece of it in and it grew roots and that thing went ballistic it grew like 20 feet long and it grew all over the house it was insane and then we got rid of fish tank what i want fish tanks now for is one fish are relaxing and two i like having fish and three uh i want the water so when you do water change, I want the water to do the water to garden with because it's really beneficial bacteria in it and it's loaded with all kinds. Of, I want to take that compost tea and uh, and our warm casting and make like a big, like make like a super awesome compost tea out of it. Could you imagine making fish water tea, fish water compost warm casting tea? That'd make your plants go ballistic. And also, like, whenever I do another fish tank, I'm probably going to try to do an eco, eco tank where basically. You have low stock of fish, and you plant the crap out of it, and then you don't even have a filter. You can have a filter, but it's not really important. Like, you can actually do it. I want to get, my goal right now, I want to get, like, a 20-gallon tank, and then I want to get shrimp, snails, neon tetras, and a beta fish. And I want to put them in a very heavily planted tank and not have to change, and not have to worry about filters. Probably have to get a heater, obviously, because betas like get warm. But when we get shrimp, you can actually put fish with betas. I, I, I didn't think this was a thing. Everyone told me. My whole childhood, I always wanted a beta fish at the mall when I was a kid because they was always in a little cup and I, and I always wanted one, which I did finally get one. And I tortured that thing for like three, six months, something like that. I don't can't remember how long. I didn't keep it very long. But uh, basically, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to make it up to that fish that I killed. You can actually keep betas with certain fish. Like uh, there's neon tetras, there's quarry catfish, there's plecos, certain plecos you can get. Oh, I always want to get, I want to get a couple of quarry catfish in it and then maybe... Uh, bristle nose pleco because I really like plecos. Don't ask me why. I've always been a pleco fan. My two favorite fish is goldfish and plecos, but I can't really do a common pleco and I can't really do goldfish because those are big tanks. If you want to do goldfish, you probably get like a you probably need like an 80 gallon tank, which our house can definitely not hold an 80 gallon tank right now. Our house is super small, and there ain't no way we're getting it anywhere near this house. Anywhere, no room for it. But uh, a 20 gallon, I think you may make you may make a five gallon or 10 gallon. But I want to get I want to get like a 20 gallon because. The bigger tank you have for a beta, if you want to have, like, fish with it, the better. Because you have more room to hide and stuff. And also, if you get a beta, apparently online it says to have the other fish in first and then introduce the beta later. So it can't take the whole tank as its territory. Because if there's other fish in there with it, 
they won't it will be less aggressive towards me because that makes it yeah it knows its thing but uh yeah anyways oh and also the reason why you don't really need a filter because filters don't really do a move they do it doesn't really, i mean it does clean the water but if you have if you have a good cleanup crew like snails shrimp and some sort of uh pleco or something like that not like a common pleco because most people something like that like something that eats the debris shrimp snails and if you have a bunch of plants you don't really need a filter most filters all they really do is just clear like the clarity of the water up and then they it's a breeding ground for bacteria but once you get a uh a plant a very it's like it's like it's called an ego tank you like the first week or two you pop to do like daily water changes or every other day water changes and you got to get a test kit and test it but once it reach it stabilizes then you just don't do any water you top up the water you take a like maybe 10 maybe five to ten percent of water changes a week and then you add that back in a week every every week maybe not even that maybe once a month just top it off but other than that it should be pretty stable so yeah anyway guys never let me talk about fish tanks probably for another time i don't have a fish tank anymore, but i've always wanted to get one again <laughs> we had one like my whole childhood it, all the fish died we gave up with it for like three years i tried to give by myself because i put my parents like, i don't care and i was like, i'm gonna trap myself and he's like okay because we had the fish stuff around all they did was buy the fish we literally just reused the fish tank which probably not a good idea because all our fish died from some sort of bacteria and i think that bacteria came over and yeah so who knows who knows but uh yeah anyways guys guys i'll talk to you guys if you hi guys i'm back gonna vlog did not do a lot today mostly talked about uh fish fish tanks and what pizza lilies and stuff you can do in fish tanks which is cool i wish i could show you guys i don't have a fish tank but if i did get a fish tank i'm definitely heavily planting and i'm also going to plant some of these house plants that like the pizza lily and them vines over there. i forget what they're called but yeah those vines they can do root to grow in it and also it's really hard to have a planted tank with goldfish but i heard it could be done you basically need like a couple of certain uh things and that's been, and then you gotta, like really super glue it down so they can't pull it out and yeah but if i do do a planted tank it's gonna be like i'm gonna put like compost in like plastic ziploc baggies put them on the ground i'm gonna put like and then i'm gonna bury them and put like two inches of sand top of that and then boom that'll be it yeah i'm gonna use compost from our garden which you actually can which is pretty cool anyways guys i guess i'll talk to you guys tomorrow so whoop roll the outro whoop all right guys you made this more video it means a lot to me uh i guess i'll talk to you uh if you want to watch more of me you can click here here you can subscribe down below do all three do whatever you want talk to you guys tomorrow so